My name is Jane Mainwaring and I'm the vicar of St Mark's Church in Hitchin in Hertfordshire. My day starts at about quarter to seven, usually the alarm clock goes off at that point. And because I have a family, it's all fairly manic for the first sort of couple of hours as we're doing breakfast and getting ready for school. And then I settle into either going straight into maybe a meeting or seeing somebody um, or maybe just a quiet time when I can pray or get ready for the rest of the day. Quite often I get asked why am I a priest and a vicar, what actually I, am I? One of my stock answers is that I am a priest, that's what I always am, but the vicar of it is my actual job. So there'll be lots of other priests who might be a chaplain at a hospital, there might be a priest who is known as a minister, there might be a priest who's known as a rector is another term we use, or a curate which is um, a vicar in training. So a priest is what we are, but the other titles are all about what we actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. Churches differ on what services they have, but in my own church we have usually two or three services on a Sunday morning, plus a service on a Wednesday morning as well. We give a sermon in church um, so that people can understand a little bit more about the Bible. So we'll have a reading from the Bible or a couple of readings from the Bible and then the job of the pe person who's preaching the sermon is to try and explain to other people what that passage from the Bible means. And the sun came up and because they didn't have deep roots, they withered away. And that's like right. when we hear about God and get very excited, but when things become a bit difficult, we stop listening to God. And within those services, there are some parts that are particularly my parts. For instance, communion service where we share the bread and wine, and that has to be taken by a priest. But there are other parts of the service that get taken by other people. So reading the Bible, for instance, or leading the singing will be done by other people as well as by myself. One of the ways to spot a vicar is to look for our, what we call our dog collar. It's a very strange name, but we wear them because it's like our uniform. But when we're taking services, we wear robes sometimes. So we might wear a, what's called a cassock, which is a long black robe. We might wear an alb, which is a long white robe. And then on top of that, we would put a stole. So that's like a really long scarf. And then if we're going to be really smart, we might wear what's called a chasuble, which is like a big poncho over the top of it all. And that's when we have very grand occasions and we feel like dressing up. The main duties of being a vicar is to essentially run a church. So we do the day-to-day -day sort of looking after church building along with other people. But also a big part of what we do is what we call pastoral care. So that's when we're caring for individual people. So they're going through a particularly rough time. A lot of what vicars do is listening. And it's being that kind, hopefully listening ear. And maybe if it's appropriate to pray with people as well. Excellent. We yep, yeah, you lead the way, that'd be lovely. So some days I can be spending lots of time in schools, doing assemblies. Other days I'll be sitting with people in hospital or in their own homes listening. Yeah. So one of the real joys of what I do is that no two days are ever the same. Have a lovely time. Oh, and then we'll you. see you when you get back. Lovely Jane, thanks okay. so much. See you soon. Bye. 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 The Bible's important to me because it's where I learn about God. When I'm trying to really grapple with something, the Bible is the place that I'd go to. The Bible is in two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament was originally written in Hebrew and the New Testament was originally written in Greek. But the Bible has been translated into lots and lots of different languages. And so in a Church of England church, you would hear the Bible being read in English. Sometimes we all need just to sit and to stop and for me that's prayer and it's time to talk to God, to share what's on my mind and to listen to God as well and just to be still for a time.
My family tends to like just hanging out together at home, quite into playing on computer games, but also they are, my children are at a stage in life where they go to lots of clubs and that sort of thing. So I end up as a bit of a taxi as well. Most days I cook, but on a Sunday, which is my really busy day in church, my husband cooks. My husband is getting better at cooking the more he does it. <laughs> My day usually ends at about sort of 10, half 10, um, and then it's quite nice just at that stage, sort of put my feet up on the sofa and relax before going to bed. One of the things I really enjoy about being a vicar is the fact that no day is ever the same, and also that it's really involved with people, and I'm someone that's, I've always worked with people, that's what I really love doing. So I get to combine a very varied lifestyle with being with people, but also talking with people and sharing with people what's most important to me, and that's God.